The implementation of the digital detector and uh, driving this now into a complete digital system is from my perspective really a major leap in our ability to advance PET to the next level. I personally have been very excited about this. The reason is very simple because, you know, from the analog pad to digital pad is a uh, great improvement, it's a milestone. I think it's really exciting that the, the way that we're able to acquire the scans now that we can already see just from the preliminary data that we have that we can significantly cut back on the acquisition time. If we can take a 15 minute scan and cut it down to a five minute scan, that would be tremendous. Now tapping into the capabilities allows us, as we are already seeing in the initial experiment, that we have better count statistics that combined with the excellent time of flight capabilities, we can use this to accelerate imaging. We have the opportunity to push thin and ultra thin reconstruction. And the whole dynamic range, including its quantitative abilities, is dramatically changing. Moving from the traditional uh, analog pad to digital pad, and with this, it actually give us great opportunity to do, uh, not only do some uh, new research, but also allow to do pet acquisitions in a um, uh, much faster fashion. We're seeing smaller nodes and, and spots in the scans that either we don't see at all on the Gemini, or that we would consider, you know, maybe just to be something to look at on follow-up, but nothing to be concerned with now. What is also very exciting and important that the advances on the PET side are strongly interwoven uh, with the advances on the CT side. So having the capabilities on the CT to not only have high quality, low dose attenuation, but integrating this in fully functional integrated uh, procedures. As a physician, for me, I look for a partner that is committed to the innovation that we need in the ever-changing healthcare environment. It is really exciting to see that technological evolution is being driven forward with the implementation of a digital detector system that really allows to leap our capabilities to use PET as a molecular imaging methodology as well as how we best use the innovative molecular targeted therapeutics in targeted surgery and radiation oncology really to the advancement of patients. I think it's, it's really um, an exciting opportunity to be able to take what's been done in the factory and planned on paper and actually use it in the field and, and get real feedback on it. And then, you know, for us to be able to take our experiences and give recommendations back and to immediately see that improve. Everybody on the Phillips side is quick to respond, to hear our feedback, to recommend whatever needs done. And if we need somebody to come down on site, they get somebody there within a day or two. So from my perspective, the commitment of Philips to bring Varios to the clinical market um, is a commitment to us as physicians and the patients to provide the tools of innovation to advance uh, healthcare, to improve the diagnosis and the management of its diseases. It's been long-term, great collaboration. It's a win-win situation. I personally believe it's going to change the world in this field, nuclear medicine and the pad research field. I can see the bright future.